Hold up, y'all. Just waiting on El Dollar. We're about to get it popping. Have an interview about music, you know. New IGTV series hosted by me, Hanley. What's good? What's good? Yo, yo. What's up, fam? What's up, bro? What's going on, my G? You good? I'm good. I'm good. Just got home. Sorry, bro. You cut out. You good? Yeah, I'm good, bro. You? Yeah, man. I'm chilling. I'm glad that we could talk, man. Sweet, fam. Sweet. Yeah, so uh, I saw you were doing a video today. I saw your story, and I was looking at it, checking it out. What what track's that for? That's one of my next singles called Light It Up. Light It Up? Light It Up. All right. The video looks like it's going to be lit, bro. You look like you had some nice women with you. Yeah, man. Yeah, we, we we pulled out all the stops. You know, if if you see my videos, you know I don't play. You know. Yeah, man. No, I've seen your music and stuff, bro. I followed it. You know what I mean? I've been following you for a while and stuff. I've been doing interviews Thank with you, artists, bro. but I've switched it up. I'm gonna start doing them live on i on Instagram and then posting them on my IGTV and shit. Sweet, sweet. You know, so I figured I figured why not get L Dollar to be the first one. <laughs> Thank you, homie. I appreciate that. Yeah, bro. So tell me more. Like, what? How? How long have you been doing the music thing for, bro? Uh, to be honest, brother, I've been doing this music thing for three decades. Three decades, huh? Three decades, bro. I'm kind of giving out my age there a little bit, but I'm an OG, brother. You know, and I've been doing it for a minute. You know, it's and, all right, uh, bro. Yeah, man. You know, you grind, you grind all day, bro. That's what, that's the job, man. If you're grinding, you, you're gonna keep doing it, right? That's it, brother. That's it, man. If, I kept you, at it, and here I am, man. If you love, if you love what you do, you never work a day in your life. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. You know? <laughs> but yeah, man. Yeah. So, like, three decades of music. Uh, what? What? In, who? Who inspired you? Like, what was your like? What was your like mentorship? If you had one. Um, you know what, back in the late 80s, early 90s, you know, if you go look at the rappers that were out back then, there used to be a rapper named uh, Ice-T. Yeah. Everybody knows the famous rapper Ice-T. Well, I'm from Ottawa, and he came down to Ottawa back in the day on a color score, and I got to see that man perform live. I was about 13 years old at the time. That's what made me become a rapper. Right. That's what's up, man. See, like, that, those little things can transpire into something big, you know what I mean? Yeah, man, you know? And it's, it's crazy, like, like three decades, like, like when I, I used to do hip-hop, too. I was a rapper back in the day. I did it for about 10, 15 years, you know? And then I, I, I had my mental health issues. I went through my shit, and I ended up stopping. And now I'm doing a podcast based on uh, mental health and the arts. But I also... Do yeah, and I also do interviews with artists just to promote their music and like, because I know what it's like to be an artist and not get like any recognition, you know, you want to be put on blast, you want to be on shows, you want to be talking, you know? Yeah. So, I mean, like, I'm trying to help people, you know what I mean? I'm trying to, I, I, I'm trying to give back, I never give in. I appreciate that, homie, I appreciate that. Yeah, so, tell me more about the single that's coming out. What else can you tell me, bro? Um, well, it's a single called Light It Up. It's produced by a company here in Toronto called PHS Entertainment. Shout out to the PHS boys. And it's a hot Latin, Spanglish, English mommy track, you know, and I got some of the hottest Toronto Latin girls in this video. I saw a picture of you and that lady, bro. She was nice. <laughs> Thank you, brother. Thank you. You're taking Shout out to Monica for yeah, sure. Yeah, you're taking you're taking the right photos, man. Thank you, brother. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Uh, shout out to everybody that's uh, watching us right now. I appreciate the people coming in. Shout out to my boy Ashton Martin out in Atlanta and Florida. What up, Ashton? Uh, but yeah, so it's. It's crazy, man, just to hear three decades of music, and I've been following you for, like, a good minute. I'll, I won't Thank say you, I've been following you the whole three decades, because that would be a lie. But, I hear you. I hear but you. I've been following the stuff that you've done previous in the last, like, 
I'll say like five years I've been following the music scene more again. You know what I mean? Like, cause I was deep in it when I was in it. So I, so All I right. had love for everybody. You know what I mean? No, I don't have bad blood with anybody. If they got bad blood with me, they could keep it. You know what I mean? I don't need it. Yeah. yeah. So, so yeah. I'm, like I said, like I'm trying to just help artists, even if they're already recognized, you know, just having a chat with them is dope. Just trying to find out who they are as a person and shit. No, I appreciate that, man. I appreciate that. So, like, nowadays, what's inspiring you to keep going with the music? Um, that's a good question, you know. It, it, but, you know, in my life, I've always put family first, you know. So, I just had a child, and, you know, that's what's making me uh, keep going forward, you know what I mean? Congratulations. So I'm, putting it down, I'm putting it down for my princess now. Congratulations. Thank you, fam. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, just uh, for a second... The music that's playing in the background is a homie that I that sent me his album to play. His name's R A P. So uh, on Instagram, his name is Brad the Rapper. He's pretty dope. You should go check him out. Just a shout out, quick. That's his yeah, album man, playing that's right now. You know, I'm trying to just promote. I'm promoting two different things at once. No, oh, that's great, man. That's great. And uh, yeah, man. So like, who? You're from Ottawa, so like, who in Ottawa do you work with the most? Cause I know you, I know you fuck with Bully, right? That's right. Shout out yeah, to shout out to yeah. shout out to Bully Zone. What up? Stay platinum yeah. records. What up? You know. That's right. That's right. So, well, man, you know, I'm an I'm an OG, brother. I put on a lot of rappers. My, the list of people that I helped out in Ottawa and Toronto, the list goes on and on. You know what I mean? But uh, you know, I'm here. You know what I mean? And uh, you know, I'm an OG, so I'm one of the Ottawa's first rappers. If you do your homework, I'm one of the first ones to come yeah. on the team. So, like, yeah, you remember the days of like Broken Bridge and all that, then? Yeah, yeah. That, Shout out to that was the era, bro. That was a good era. Yeah, man. You know, yeah, like, you got aspects. You had cancer. You had you had a paragraph. Yeah. You had everybody. You know, like that. That was that was a hard ass fucking team, bro. You had King right, Khan. Man. Shout out to King Khan, bro. Shout out to King Khan. Yo, yo, Hungry good. Squad. What up, Naif? You know, what up, all of them, bro? For real, like like I said, like I was deep in the scene. I still know everybody. You know what I mean? Nice. Like, nice. Uh, I wish I would have met you back in the day because we probably could have connected on a good level because your vibes were dope like you know how to make a club record and that was my type of shit like, Thank I, you, brother. I used to make those bangers and I'd go to the clubs and hall and be like yo here's a USB put it on your shit play it I want to hear it you know I want to hear it in, I want to hear it in the, in the club bro like and you know, like that, I'm all about networking like that. I'll, I'll force my way in if I have to, bro. I really don't care. Like, I'm, you know, I'm trying to help. And if someone sees that, then maybe they're gonna, they're gonna get what I'm trying to do, and it'll grow to a bigger scene. But right now, you know, I start slow. I don't mind that. Yeah, for sure, brother. Keep grinding, man. Never give up. Um, you know what I mean? Sometimes there's the career of an artist. Sometimes you become an artist at first, and then the second part of your career, your life is behind the scenes. You know what I mean? Yeah, that... And sometimes us as artists, we don't appreciate the people behind the scenes. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, well, I'm here to tell you, I appreciate you. Thank you for interviewing the artist. Thank you for, you know, for this keeping everybody aware of what's going on in current events. You know what I mean? Yeah, you gotta keep the scene alive, bro. I don't wanna see this scene die, man. It's good, it's good. You know? And uh, so you're so you're staying out of Toronto right now? Yeah, man, I'm living in Toronto. I'm always back and forth. I'm always in Ottawa, in Toronto, Montreal. You know, but right now I'm based out of Toronto, for sure. Well, uh, when, when, do you, when do you think you're gonna be in Ottawa next? Oh, man, I'm always in Ottawa, brother, you know Sometimes the day, you know, turns, you know, gray and I'm in Ottawa, you know what I mean? It's, it's just like when that. You're, when you're in the city, hit me up so we can link up. We can do a live interview. Yeah, for sure. I would love that, man. For yeah, sure. and we could talk. We could talk, like, about, like, the music scene, like, how it was. Because, like, there's a lot more we could talk about. Like, if we go back to that era, bro, it goes deep, man. It is goes deep. So, you know what it is, brother? There hasn't been anybody digging that deep. Yes. You know, there's no other interview guy that is digging that deep right now into the Ottawa hip-hop scene. 
Like I'm talking about, let's go back to the first rap group ever. Yeah. And then you go tripling from there. You know what I mean? People haven't scratched that surface yet. Yeah. Like on my podcast, like I have aspects coming on, but he's on yeah, tour right now with Snack the Ripper. So like he's busy, but when he comes back, I'll definitely have him on. And then uh, he's, a great artist. he's one of my favorite Ottawa artists for sure. I give him his flowers. For he, sure, he's, a, he's a creator, bro. He does everything. Yeah. Cool. And uh, yeah, but um, what was I getting at? Yeah, so aspects I have on, I have chocolate. Nice. Uh, yeah, it's, it, the, the, the podcast is getting, is getting good. Like, I'm starting to get like the right responses from it you know it's helping people like people suffering with mental health and shit it's helping them so that that that's my main goal you know what i mean if i get a message saying thanks for helping me then like yo that mean that makes my day you know what i mean Oh, for sure, brother. Mental health is, is a big issue nowadays, brother. And not a lot of people are, are scared to talk about it. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm from the hood, you know what I mean? I'm from the low-income parts of the cities and stuff. And I live in the projects, you know? And I see that every day, brother, you know? And it's yeah. and the numbers are staggering, you know what I mean? And we got to find ways of getting help, you know what I mean? And if we all talk about it and, you know, give each other pointers on how to get deal with it, you know what I mean? It's pretty big, brother. Yeah, you like, know what I mean, I appreciate you on that one. You know? The stories, like, in my interviews on, like, the podcast, like, it's not just talking about, like, what do you think about mental health? Like, they go into their own, like, stories about what they dealt with, you know? And, like, a lot of the stories you listen to and you're like, holy shit, like, you didn't think that was, like, happening, you know what I mean? Because no one wanted to talk about it. No one was seeking the help for it, you know what I mean? So, like, yeah. I let them, I let them. I let them breathe it out on the show and, and they get a chance to talk about it. You know what I mean? And some people that are suffering in silence hear it and it helps them or it gets them like to go get the right help. Then, you know, I'm doing my job, bro. That's all I do. I don't give a shit about the bag right now. I care about people getting better. You know what I mean? Cause I know what it's like. No, that's what it is, bro. That's what it is. It's getting help, bro. That's what it is. Oh. At the end of the day, it's just getting help. You know what I mean? That's it. Yeah, man. And like, you need it. It's tough, man. You gotta be. You, you gotta be courageous. You gotta reach out. It's hard sometimes. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. For sure. But yeah, like I didn't mean to get off and start talking about mental health. I always end up doing that, bro. But uh, no, man, it's great, man. It's great. So when you're, uh, what's the last? Who's the last artist? Sorry that you uh, worked with in Ottawa. Uh, the last artist I worked with in Ottawa was Bully Zone. We did uh, his last single called Sometimes. It's out on YouTube. Check it out. You know what I mean? And uh, I did a song with Flacco. It's called She Knows. Um, I it's that. also on YouTube. Yeah. And then um, the last video I did was with a girl here in Toronto. And uh, K Doll is her name. And it was pretty good, bro. That was the last one I did. And then today I shot my latest single called Light It Up. All right. And when when is that dropping? Um, well, you know, right now the film guy took it, so it takes about, you know, two, three weeks in editing, and then we just got to pick the right timing, and, uh, and then we're going to pop it out. You know, it's a hot video. I, I'm so excited to show you guys, you know what I mean? Yeah, bro. It's something, you know, something really hot, for sure. Cool. Cool. If you let it, let let the uh, let my YouTube platform put the video out for you too, bro. Let me put it on our fucking page. Sure, bro. I appreciate that. I appreciate I mean, it's, that. It's another platform, you know. It won't monetize for me, but it'll get it'll get more views for you from different people, I guess. I appreciate that, brother, for sure. Thank you. Yeah, I do it. I, I put exclusives from artists on my YouTube. That's what I'm going to start doing, but I'm going to keep the interviews on Instagram. Sweet, man. That's sweet. Yeah. But uh, when, when your single drops, we'll reconnect. We'll do another interview, and we'll talk about it. We'll play it a bit, and uh, we'll talk, and we'll let the uh, people listen, and we'll see what they think, and we'll do it on live again. Sounds good, brother. I All appreciate right. that. All right, for now, bro, I'm going to take off. I got another interview I got to do, but it was good meeting you, talking to you, and when you're in Ottawa, bro, for sure, hit me up. Let's link up. Let's talk. Let's do some fucking behind-the-scenes shit. For sure, brother. I appreciate you. Thank you for reaching out. Shout out to everybody. I want to thank all my fans following me, everybody that's tuning in and stuff. Everybody stay tuned. It's about to yeah. be a movie. And if you're, if you're on this 
channel right now watching. Make sure you follow my page if you don't follow me. Check out the podcast. Uh, maybe we'll have El Dollar on the podcast talking about mental health one day. We'll see. Sure, brother. Anytime, bro. Anytime. I am my dude, so we'll reconnect soon. All right, fam. Take care, All brother. Right, well, take care, bro. Thank you.